Travel Across America with me, and we are in Mississippi, traveling along the Natchez Trace Parkway. Have you traveled on the Natchez Trace Parkway? You can travel from Natchez beyond Tupelo, and many people use this roadway to cross the state. As we were traveling down the parkway, I saw on the map this place called Windsor Ruins, and that piqued my interest, and I decided to ask the park ranger, what are these ruins? He goes, oh, they're awesome. You ought to go see them. They are just off the Great River Road, which is U.S. Highway 61. We followed the signs to Windsor Ruins, and look at the greenery on the sides of the road. This evasive plant has taken over but isn't it stunning? Driving down this back road was incredible, and we found the Windsor Ruins. Wait till you see what happened to the staircase of the ruins, but you'll have to hang on because I want to show you the ruins first. This is controlled by the Mississippi Department of Archives and History. There is a project ongoing to stabilize the Windsor Ruins, and let's read about these ruins. Smith Coffey Daniel II, a successful cotton planter, completed construction of Windsor in 1861. Danielle owned 21,000 acres of plantation land in Louisiana and Mississippi. Ironically, he died in April of 1861, only weeks after completing his mansion. His wife and children continued to live at Windsor, but were left to suffer the loss of much of the family's holdings during the Civil War. Windsor's basic style was Greek Revival, but with added details borrowed from Italiante and Gothic architecture. The house contained 23 rooms with an above-ground basement, two residential floors, and an attic. The L-shaped extension on the east side attached to a single row of columns extending from the main square contained the kitchen, pantry, and dining room. Rainwater stored in large tanks in the attic supplied two bathrooms. A cupola from which the Mississippi River could be viewed was centered on top of the roof. The mansion survived the Civil War only to be destroyed by an accidental fire on February 17, 1890. And I want you to listen to how many fires have taken down extraordinary places. Many capitals and different structures, old world architecture, like places have been burned down by accidental fires. And this is no exception. But this fire was on February 17, 1890. All was lost except for the columns and the ironwork. One flight of metal stairs from Windsor is now installed, get this, at the Oakland Chapel on the campus of nearby Alcorn State University. So you'll want to hold on because we will be going to Alcorn State University after we finish walking around these ruins. All of the Daniel family's photographs and drawings of the mansion were lost in the fire. In 1991, historians discovered a drawing of Windsor sketched in 1863 by Union soldier and Major General Ulysses S. Grant's army. The soldier's drawing is similar to the illustration reproduced here. Descendants of the Daniel family donated Windsor ruins to the state of Mississippi in 1974. Today, the site is administered by the Mississippi Department of Archives and History. When the mansion burned in 1890, only 27 complete columns remained of the stately home. A century of exposure claimed four more columns and took a toll on the brickwork, stucco, and cast iron. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please subscribe. And if you have, thank you. Only half of the decorative stucco remains today, and each year more brickwork deteriorates and iron fragments fall. In 2018, a $3.7 million project was launched to save the site. Over the course of the project, unsecured stucco will be carefully reattached, fractures will be repaired, and each column will be stabilized. This is certainly taking a very long time. The supervisor on site was very kind to us. They were closing down for the day. Since there was no work going on, he allowed us to pop in the fence a bit and snap a few quick pictures of this exceptionally incredible place. Breathtaking, isn't it? You wouldn't expect to see this in southwest Mississippi, would you? All right, let's drive down the road and go see Alcorn State University. I want to tell you a little bit about this university, and we will see the staircase on the chapel. Let's read a few signs. 
Oakland College. In 1830, Oakland College was formed by Dr. Jeremiah Chamberlain. Chamberlain envisioned Oakland as serving the 300,000 inhabitants of Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Representatives of three Louisiana parishes in eight Mississippi counties met at Bethel Church in January of 1830 and approved Chamberlain's proposal to establish an institution of higher learning under the care of this Mississippi Presbytery. It opened with three students on May 14th, and by July, 250 acres had been given to Oakland College and construction of the first buildings began. Unfortunately, Dr. Jeremiah Chamberlain died in 1851. He was actually assassinated on the campus. The college's final decline was precipitated by the Civil War. But now we're looking at Alcorn State University. It's 1871. Well, Oakland College managed to continue operation until 1861. In 1871, the buildings were purchased for $42,500 by the state in order that a school might be established for blacks. This school has a long and vibrant history, and it was a hopping campus the day that we were there. The reason that we went there was to see the Oakland Memorial Chapel because the supervisor at the Windsor Ruins had told us about the staircase. Well, the construction on the Oakland Memorial Chapel was begun in 1840 by Dr. Jeremiah Chamberlain, the college's founder and president. It was completed in 1851, two years after the death of Dr. Chamberlain. Well, I didn't get to see it. Oakland Chapel united the religious and academic activities of the college in one building. All right, I'm searching for information on this staircase. The chapel. This structure is listed in the National Register of Historic Places, and it is one of the finest in Greek Revival style remaining in Mississippi. Leave a comment below Tell me where your favorite architectural masterpiece in the United States is located. The chapel is in the familiar Greek temple form. Its two principal floors are raised above a high basement, a non-classical but functional arrangement which provides additional classroom space. The pediment portico of six unfluted Doric columns is truly monumental. The height of the ground floor piers provides a showcase for the magnificent cast iron stair. Here we go! which was donated to the college after Windsor burned in 1890. The six cast iron balustrade panels are also from Windsor. The roof gable is topped by a tower. Because there was no Greek precedent for a tower or steeple atop a temple, such a feature was a major problem in the design of a temple-style building, where a tower or steeple was appropriate. The steeple or tower is a vertical form inherited from Gothic architecture, while Greek architecture is essentially horizontal. Well, that was kind of a good architecture lesson. And if you like architecture, be sure to check out my architectural playlist. Flip-flops, on the ground, off the Natchez Trace, off the Great River Road, visiting ruins in Mississippi. Unclassic road trip. Tell a friend about my channel. Please leave a comment below.